Yo, what's up guys, Smithy here, back with another, uh, my new let's play of The Raven. So this is our new game for you guys. I will play chapter 2 and 3 on um, when it comes out. <laughs> so chapter 1 is on a train, I guess. And sorry how many... I really, really, really am sorry that I haven't been doing videos. Uh, it's because... <laughs> yeah, guys, it's because... I don't know, I'm using a tablet right now. On my tablet. <sighs> I can't record anything else, I'm so sorry. But, oh my god. It's just my tablet will not let me upload. I mean, yo. <laughs> Fellas... <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm gonna be quiet when the spe the characters are speaking as well. And I know the Raven has been out for ages, but it came out for Xbox Live Gold for free, as you know. If you have Xbox Live Gold, there's a new game, the first and sixteenth, and I'm playing this on the Xbox here. Yep. Say so Xbox controls, pure Xbox. I, I, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm sure you can. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, if so.
Hands up! I don't have time to play. I'm on duty. Which one, guys? Should he go away? Who is he? Toy gun. I'll talk about the toy gun. Why do you need the gun? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Dead birds don't need guns. No do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre and those priceless eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. And Bobby Dobbs says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was. Although, I don't quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. Hey, here What's is your it? Name, boy? Uh, My name is Matthew Miller. And where are you from, Matthew Miller? From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. But my mom and I live in England now. She's taking care of some rich old lady. We're on our way to Venice at the moment. We're taking a cruise on a big ship. Impressive. You've already seen half the world. I've spent my entire life in Switzerland. Must be really boring. You do know Very these days nice. there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. A guard was severely injured. Really? Yeah. And you know what the papers say? <clears throat> you talk too much, Constable. Zelda. Anton Jakob Zelda. Or did he put a gun on you? No, monsieur. Get a move on. Inspector Legrand, it's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate the support of the Swiss police. But it'd be better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. What's going on here? But, monsieur, your journey on this train is most unusual. Is it related to the burglary at the British Museum? Not in the least. And be safe? What's that for? I'll let you know if we need your help, Constable. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in the first freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. I'm not here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I... I am a good observer. And I have finely honed powers of deduction. Thanks to that, I watch the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late fifties. All right then, Constable... Zelda. Constable Zelda. If you're such a clever fellow, what am I doing on this train? He's guarding something. I think you're guarding something. Oh, really? And what might it be? Whatever you decide to say. I really couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you are very important. They wouldn't have assigned the case to you if it were just a trifle. <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safe. Then why isn't the train crawling with police? It's a trap. It's, it's a trap. <laughs> You've got a vivid imagination. I'll give you that. Well, that is impressive, I admit. But the fewer people involved, the better. We'll get along fine without you. You won't. Won't? Pardonnez-moi. I can help. 
and I will help. You're in my country, and I've been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do, whether you like it or not. Hmm, clever and stubborn. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zana. But this is my show, and I don't need you. Well, but how do you know? You cheated. I did what? I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. He told you everything himself, and you were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really tell on me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa. It was him? Mm-hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. All right, Matthew. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie, as if I were a little kid. Whether Legrand wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Do you want to learn about the game control tutorial? Uh, just for you guys. <laughs> Examine the sandwich paper. This morning I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully I bought a sandwich with me anyway. Take the sandwich paper, okay. Very good. Now press 1. This opens the inventory, in which you can see the items that Constable Zelda is carrying. Use the left stick to select the sandwich paper and press A so that if is dis if is displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Press Y. Sandwich paper. Rock. The upper core in the sandwich paper by simply pressing it. Open the inventory again to select the sandwich paper. Press B to examine it. sandwich paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trouser pocket. Still, I prefer not to have to carry them all day. The napkin came with the croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I don't need that either. Basket. Every table has its own waste basket. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. Yeah, sorry guys. It's Every just, table has its, it's own waste basket. Mm. Practical. No need to hour. ever leave okay. your seat. Just because I've done a video in ages. Every table has its own waste basket. Practical. <sighs> no need to ever leave your seat. Look at the freaking waste basket. What else do you want me to do? Let's get rid of it. Dump the litter from your inventory to the ashtray on Constable's on Zelda's table. Litter. Ah, oh, there you go. Whoa, that's gigantic. All right. Hey. Press X to highlight all the objects in a, in a scene. Sorry guys, it is just like light in this corner over here. Yeah, I'm really sorry. 
is the light bulb. But hopefully, I can fix it. The violinist is a good-looking fellow, and he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape of the world. But one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Very kind of you. Thanks. What the? Ooh, oh, pardon me. No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof, uh, Mr. Lucian, Professor Edgar Lucian. Oh, a professor. Are you a scientist? Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. You don't say. So, you were, shall we say, an eyewitness to the burglary two days ago? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? Well, there was a lot of commotion, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break-in in your museum, and it didn't concern you? Well, let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Here? On the train? No, I can't say that I have. Although I did spend most of the time in my compartment. Uh, Inspector Legrand. The famous Inspector Legrand is on this train. I imagine you know him. Uh, no, should I? You don't know him? And you also don't know what he's doing here? No. <laughs> Why should I? Just a thought. You're a representative of the British Museum. There's a guarded safe on the train. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're trying to imply. And now, please excuse me. May I ask where you're going? Of course. To Venice. I'm going to meet some colleagues there. Oh, Venice. A beautiful city, or so I'm told. Indeed. But I really have to take my leave now. Say goodbye. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time. But you do understand, don't you, that what concerns me is the present, and especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just... I'm in rather a hurry. Oh, bless Barry, you, you get guys. Touch if you notice yep. anything unusual, won't you, Professor? Of course, Constable. <coughs> What's this? What's the matter, sir? The door. I can't open it. Ah, we'll sort it out somehow. The compartment is locked. But I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward. He was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. Find the steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. You don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. All right. Just wait here. Okay. Uh, excuse me. The little label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue blood of the Orient Express. Oh. Yes, what is it? Whoever that is, James, ask them whether they found my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this train is driving me crazy. Lost purse? You're missing a purse. Was it stolen? stolen? At the very least, least, I cannot Not find it. It was stolen. stolen! When did you? When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich. I just asked where you last saw your purse. It's your it on the platform. James, tell him that I still had it when I got up to stretch my legs. The Baroness Sorry, hello, guys. Maybe you lost so your purse. So it's just <laughs> The Baroness never loses anything, sir. I never lose anything. Very well, then. I shall be on the lookout for your purse. Say goodbye. I, I will have oh, a look, look around. around. Thank you, sir. Yes, 
it's okay. I'll get you into your compartment. I don't believe it. I never thought I'd ever meet you. Pardon me, but we'd prefer... It's all right, Miss Miller. I'd like to speak to the inspector. Unfortunately, just a constable, Lady Westmacott. I'm reading The Vicarage in the Mirror right now, for the fifth time at least. That's nice, Constable... Uh, Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. This is my companion, Miss Miller. A pleasure. Missing purse. A passenger's purse has gone missing. I suppose you haven't seen it. I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. As you know, I only deal with murder, not burglary. Have you asked my boy yet? Maddie is good at finding things. I'll go and do that now. What May I do ask that? what you're doing here? Are you on holiday? Holiday? Yes, so to speak. The first and last holiday of my life. Madam? I've been writing since I was a little girl. It became my job, and now I've stopped. So, this must be a holiday. You quit writing? Impossible. I have all of your books. Your detective Patu is my favorite character. Then I have bad news for you. I killed the old wretch off years ago. I... I don't understand. I'd rather not discuss my work, Constable. Oh, well, fine. Uh, I'll just say goodbye because it's getting eight. As much as I like to keep talking, duty calls. Duty calls. You were right, madam. I did observe you as you came in. You seem so uh, eager. I... It's been a long time since I've had a chance to prove myself, madam. And this is it. Your chance. I do hope so. Then grab it. Even small people can make big changes, as my friend Ronald likes to say. I shall do my best. Okay. Ooh, toothpick. The steward must have forgotten the toothpicks. Normally, he would offer them discreetly after dinner. He would. Okay. Take the toothpick. Did we, we did? Did we? Yep, we did. Alright, let's go into the next room. Mm. Yay! Butterscotch. I've loved them since I was a child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Mm. Maybe if I just suck it. Who'd have thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age and of all the things I had to leave behind? Yay! I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. The pad on which the steward writes orders, empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. I don't need the pad, but the pencil might come in handy. The steward probably uses the scissors on hard-to-open packages. These days, nearly everything is sealed up tight. A colleague recently told me about dry powdered soup and small bags. I couldn't believe it. Perhaps he keeps the compartment keys in there. Locked. Hmm. Where could he be? The drawer is locked, and the steward probably has the key. But where is he? Where is he? A shortwave radio. 
It's amazing how small these things have become in the last 10 years. Hey, Mr. Baba. You switched all the radio in the salon car. Woo! And if I'm correct, this, this, this video has gone on for like 26 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, exam the ladder. The ladder leads up to the roof. It would be suicidal to climb up there while the train is at full speed. <laughs> the wind, the tunnels. No, I'll stay down here. I suppose it contains tools for the train's crew, maybe for coupling and uncoupling the cars. At any rate, it's positioned so that it's easier to reach from the ground than from up here. Sorry, Bob, it's gonna happen, isn't it? Bing, bing! Bye! Uh -huh. Don't move! Ready! Man, have you gone mad? I'll shoot! Hey, my pistol! You'll get it back in Your Venice. Face. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. Why don't you pass the window? Yes, yes, sure. Now get moving. Oh, man. Ah, screw you, man. <laughs> I strongly suspect that the door is locked. No, oh. it's open. Guys, I just I never played this, that's why. I'm just not spoiling it for you guys, don't worry. Could you guys in the base? There you go. Hello? Don't do the muscle, you feathered fiend. Put the gun down, Robert. If I may introduce. Constable Robert Oliver from the yard. This is the revered Constable Zelma of the Swiss police, who obviously couldn't control his curiosity. Trap. Then I was right. You really do want to lure someone into a trap. That's none of your business. Perhaps that someone recently struck in London. And how would I bait my trap then? with something inside the safe. <laughs> Someone hasn't done his homework. <laughs> Raven! What do you know of this Raven's heir? He tried to blow me up. Rob, we don't know who we're dealing with yet. In any event, the new Raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. How do you know it's a man? It could just as easily be a woman. Or several men. And anyway, how do you know that it's a new raven? Monsieur? Never mind. Personal investigation. I hope you'll acknowledge that I, as a Swiss policeman, can undertake investigations in my own country. Are we still in Switzerland? I could be your eyes on the train, as long as you are here in the freight car. Oh, really? Baroness von Trebitz told me that she's missing her purse. Baroness von Trebitz? Interesting. Indeed, sir. But it has nothing to do with our case. So I shouldn't concern myself with the matter. Ah, uh, why not? It's your job as a policeman. 
But don't expect me to be particularly interested in a lost person. I can't even see that one. There is a so oh, really? Professor Lucien of the train. He's an archaeologist from London. And what's his story? Well, it seems someone locked him out of his compartment. Locked him out? Well, yes. The door is locked and he's standing outside without a key. Was it locked from inside? It may have been. Hmm. Do you think the locked door could be important? Professor Lucien plays an important role in this story. Well then, Constable Zellner, be my eyes and ears on the train and see that Professor Lucien gets back into his compartment. Report back to me when you're through. My pleasure, monsieur. I go attend to the door now. Good. And Constable Zellner? Yes? Don't bother us unless you have something new to report. Of course. A thief might get anxious if there's too much activity in the freight car. Exactamon. Not twice. Then we'll know that it's you. Understood. An investigation on behalf of the brand that takes me one step closer. If I can convince you, so guys, I'll this episode here. Thanks for watching. Bye.